Hey guys, this is Stephanie Hamley with Hamley Bake Shop and today I'm in my kitchen to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of what we do at the shop. So on this episode, I'm going to do a quick little video on how to ice a dummy cake. And you're saying a dummy, dummy cake? cake. What, what on, on earth, earth is, that? is that? We'll let you know in just a second. So before we get started, all the supplies and uh, equipment that you're going to need to make this a success is going to be listed below in the description box. So if you're ready to get started, so am I. When I first began learning how to decorate cakes, I was baking cakes and baking cakes and baking cakes until I didn't want to bake any more cakes. The nice thing about dummies is it's just styrofoam. Now we use this to help with like drying fondant items on our cakes, things like that. If you want to practice decorating cakes without all the added calories, go to your local craft store and buy a styrofoam dummy. It will save your wallet, I promise you, and your hips. Okay, so how to decorate a dummy cake. Now the only challenging part of the dummies is the fact that it weighs nothing. So a normal cake is gonna be more heavy and dense and it's gonna stay put. You start icing a dummy cake and it's gonna slide all over the place. So the best thing to do, either on a cardboard circle or you can use your acrylic discs, is put a little bit of icing. I'm gonna use the acrylic just because it has a little bit more weight to it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of icing. I'm gonna stick my dummy on there and press it down really good. And then I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And what that will do is it will allow that dummy to basically glue itself to the acrylic disc. And then once that has come out of the freezer, then you can just ice your cake like normal. You can do the two acrylic disc method. You can put your uh, parchment circle on there. But this is perfect. It's so easy and so simple and you don't have all the waste. And then once you're done icing your cake, you can, you know, snap some pictures of it if you're trying to build your portfolio. When you're done, scrape the icing off, wash it, and then you can start all over again. All these uh, Pinterest pictures or these Instagram photo shoots, all that stuff, you know what they're using? Dummy cakes. You see these people holding five tier wedding cakes with no effort at all? Dummy cakes. It's all fake. Use this, I promise you, it will be a, a time saver. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer real fast and then I'll show you how easy it is just to slap some icing on there and then get decorating. Hey guys, so we're back. I just pulled this out of the freezer, so we're gonna decorate. So just like you would ice a normal cake, that's how we're gonna ice this. So I'm just gonna start adding my icing pushing it to the edge. And then we're gonna come back and touch that. Sometimes it doesn't wanna stay. Like I said, the hardest part is just keeping it still. But once it's uh, frozen to the, to the disc, you won't have any issues. They also sell, for this particular brand turntable, it's like a spike. So instead of this round thing, it has an attachment that you put in there and it holds the styrofoam. So you can actually just shove the styrofoam on it, which is really helpful. But sometimes just having the little icing glue, really that's all you need. And 
And this is our American buttercream, so it crusts really nice. And we're just gonna do a thin layer and get this all covered. And then if you wanna do textures, you can also cover this in fondant. If you're gonna do fondant, we'll do a layer of shortening, just really cover it and coat it, and that will help your fondant to stick on it. But um, guys, I'm telling you, nobody would ever know. We do lots of weddings where they want really tall cakes, but they don't want all the servings, but they you know, really love the look of it. And so we'll do maybe a dummy tier on the top or the bottom, just to give them the look that they want without all the servings. We're gonna just smooth this. Now this dummy is a little taller than my scraper. And I don't have my other one on me right now. But I'm just gonna smooth this the best I can. And then we're gonna do a texture. So nothing, nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna take my spatula and then I'm just gonna go, just kinda willy nilly with it. And I love the top of my cakes to have a swirl. Add a border, snap your pictures, and then you're done. Easy as that. So thank you so much for uh, playing along with us today. We really appreciate it. We'd love if you had a second just to leave us a comment below. If you have any suggestions or just ideas for the next episode, please let us know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so that you're notified when the next video comes out. Until next time, bake something sweet.